Hello everyone. Welcome to the 18th lecture of the course. In the previous lecture, we saw how the coexistence expresses itself in the four orders. And we also studied about the submergence of every order in space. So we are going to study about the innateness and natural characteristic of every order. We already studied it in lecture 17 briefly. Now we'll try to see the whole thing as an expression of coexistence. So this is an overview of the whole existence, something that we have discussed earlier. We also saw that the coexistence expresses itself in the form of nature, and there are five aspects to be studied. The form and property keep on changing, but the natural characteristic, innateness, and coexistence in every order is something which is definite, continuous, and universal. And that's how we can understand it. That's how we can share it, and it can be studied with definiteness. The natural characteristic and innateness of all units belonging to any particular order is the same. And these are an expression of coexistence, which is the same again for all things in the nature. And the coexistence expresses itself as natural characteristic and innateness in every order, in every unit of every order. And this is something that we're going to study now. So you must be acquainted with this table now. Now we're going to study about the innateness and natural characteristic of every order. We have studied this earlier also, so I'll just briefly recap and then we'll move ahead. So you can see that the activity in every uh, order of nature is basically by virtue of being energized in space. So every unit of every order is an activity in itself and is active with other units. And how come? This is by being energized in space. We studied about every unit that every unit is energized, self-organized, and recognizing its relationship with other units and fulfilling it. Now, this activity is an expression of being energized in space. And by virtue of that, there is formation, deformation in the physical order, right? And so many activities are there in the bio order, animal order, human order. Now, the innateness, that is the self-organization, is basically an expression of every unit being self-organized in space which we term as innateness. And we studied about the innateness of every order, of the physical order, bio order, animal order, and human order. And we can see that natural characteristic is to recognize the relationship and fulfill the relationship with every other unit in space. And again, this is by virtue of the unit being submerged in space. So we studied about the submergence, these three things, that every unit being in space is energized, self-organized, recognizing its relationship with other unit and fulfilling it. And now we can relate it to the activity, innateness, and natural characteristic of every unit in different orders. As you studied earlier that the self in the human being has the will to live with continuous happiness. And this is fulfilled by right feeling and right thought. And this is fulfilled by right understanding, isn't it? And for that, we need the education sanskar because this process will only ensure this competence in the self of the human being, and then it can go from one generation to another generation. Now we can relate the study of the four orders with the activities of the self. So when we say submergence, when we say coexistence, so this is going to be there at the level of realization. So when we say submergence, when we say coexistence, this is going to be there at the level of realization. So the content of realization is to see the submergence as it is, and thus we have the clarity of coexistence in the existence. Similarly, if you look at the content of understanding, it is the clarity of the harmony in nature, the self-organization, the innateness. Now we can see how the three columns that we studied about the different orders of nature relate to the activities of the self, isn't it? So we studied about the submergence, of every order in space. And we saw that there is activity in each of the orders. And this is by virtue of being submerged. We also studied about the innateness of different orders. And we can see that this innateness is something to be understood by the self. Going further, we can relate the natural characteristic that is relationship, that is participation in the larger order to the contemplation. So we had studied about the self in module three. Now in module four, we studied about the nature and we saw how the nature is an expression of this coexistence. There are different orders in the nature. And now we are able to relate the two, how the submergence, the innateness, the natural characteristic relate to the activities of the self. 
So with right understanding of existence as a whole, as we have just described in the terms of realization of coexistence, we can see that it is this coexistence that is submergence, which is expressing itself in the form of activities, innateness, natural characteristic in the four orders. We studied about this and we'll now recap this. So we studied about the submergence in the previous lecture. Now we can also observe the definite self-organization that is there in terms of existence and the definite participation in the larger order. So every unit of the physical order interacts with other units by virtue of formation and deformation. And the existence is there in every unit of the physical order. And this is all an expression of coexistence, submergence. Similarly about the bio order, as we studied in the previous lecture, we studied about the submergence primarily. Now we can see that there's definite self-organization in the bio order and the growth is visible. Similarly, there's a definite participation in the larger order and there is nurturing and worsening in the bio order. And the recognition and fulfillment is by way of pulsation. There's ability to grow from another cell, isn't it? And this is all an expression of submergence. Similarly, similarly in the animal order, we can see that in the body, there is definite self-organization just like the bio order and there is definite participation in the larger order just like the bio order. And there is recognition and fulfillment by way of pulsation here and there is ability to grow from another cell to multiply. In the cell, we can see that there is sensitivity towards sound, touch, sight, taste and smell. So that is there. In the human order, we can see that the innateness is there. In the body, there is innateness in terms of growth and there is nurturing and worsening as a definite participation in the larger order that is natural characteristic in the body. And the self is not only sensitive towards sound, touch, sight, taste or smell, it is also sensitive towards the feeling, isn't it? And as we have been doing in exercise one, we are trying to observe the feeling and we are trying to see how we respond or react to somebody's behavior, some work. And of course, we are able to uh, sense the feeling that is coming from the other. And there's recognition and fulfillment on the basis of knowing and assuming the need to know and potential for knowing. So I'll no, not go over it once again, as we had discussed this in the previous lecture, but now we are trying to relate the innateness and the natural characteristic to the coexistence. The same thing is written here in Hindi. And now we studied about the submergence in the previous lecture. And now we studied about the innateness and natural characteristic in this lecture. So now we have a homework here. So the discussion that we started in the previous lecture, we are going to continue with that. So you have to keep on doing that assignment that you took in the last lecture. So explore as to which feeling is natural for you. Try to find out whether it is affection or jealousy, respect or disrespect, care or exploitation, guidance or misguidance. Similarly, observe your natural feeling in relation with the body and observe your natural feeling in relation with the physical facility and explore as to what is your innate desire or basic aspiration and try to see whether it is desire to live with continuous happiness or otherwise. And the real task is here when try to observe that all this is by virtue of expression of your realization of coexistence of self in space. So we have to reach the state of realization and that is what we are working for. And all these exercises, this dialogue, this effort is meant to reach the state of realization. So you can see that in this lecture, we continued with the discussion that we had started in the previous lecture. So in lecture 16, we studied about the submergence that is coexistence. In lecture 17, we studied how the coexistence expresses itself in terms of four orders of nature. And we studied about the submergence of every order in the nature. And in this lecture, we studied about the innateness and natural characteristic of every order. I had discussed about the innateness and natural characteristic in the previous lecture also. So I did not detail upon it in this lecture. It was just a continuation of the previous lecture. And now we'll study how you are able to see this whole thing, the submergence, the innateness, the natural characteristic in the next lecture. So this is all for today. Thank you.